What's up guys, it's Big Banks and we're back again for another video. Today we are at an abandoned jail. Now this jail is sitting on top of a courthouse. We actually got special permission to come up here and this place is awesome already. I'm in one of the cells right now. I'm gonna give you a little bit of history of the place. This place was built in 1939. It was abandoned in 2000. December 31st, 2000 is when this place finally went abandoned. And it went abandoned because of overpopulation. So there was over 200 people in here at one point and that's when I had to move everybody out into a new type of prison. So far it looks really cool and like I said we have special permission to be here so yeah. Anyways we're gonna get right into it. I'm here with Black Lake Archives and Urbex Dad so go give them a follow. They are down in the description and let's get right into it. As you guys can see I'm in like one of the rooms and you can see like all these little things from like old inmates. I heart Ronald. Looks like they've like done stuff to this light. And then you see these beds here. See like this. Literally, counting your days. Imagine you're sitting up here, counting your days till you get out. So what I know is there's two floors. Uh, right now we're on the very top. And there's another floor right below us that we're gonna check out. But so far, this place is crazy. There's still power on, obviously, because we're on top of a courthouse, an active courthouse. So, this place is nuts. So, this looks like maybe some sort of like visitation almost. Something like that. I think it is visitation. Just look at this. This is crazy. Look at the old fire hose still in there. These doors are heavy. These doors are really heavy. So this is like a bathroom. Look at this small tiny mirror. <laughs> Showers. And then your only view of the outside world right here when you're in the shower. You can see this place is massive. Wow. Look at this. I am like blown away right now. It's so cool because we honestly didn't think we were going to get permission to, to get in here, but they were so nice to us. See, you can see where the old, uh, where the old inmates would write stuff. Here's even an old paper. Looks like they were doing some math on the, out, on the inside looking out. Wow. That is so crazy to see. You just see this type of stuff in movies. You don't see this stuff in real life. People writing stuff on walls in prison, counting their days. All this stuff literally etched into the, into the bedding. my mother and father struggled to raise six children in a poverty-stricken ghetto. At the same time, I watched neighborhood hustlers, the dope pushers, thieves and pimps seem to have no trouble putting food on the table or with keeping clothes on their backs. They drove nice cars and it seemed like they had life easy. I didn't want to face the fact that the lifestyle I desired would land me in jail or dead. Wow, I wonder if somebody wrote that or if that's out of a book. I can't really tell, but that's, that's eerie. I mean, at least they got a view, you know? They got to come outside and they got to see the outside world from up here. This room is a little bit bigger. Just look at these drawings on the walls from old inmates. guy downstairs, he told us that December 31st, that this place was overpopulated, there was too many people in here, so they just said, let's move everybody out, let's move them to a new facility. So that's what they did. And then they gutted everything out of this place besides the metal frames of the beds, 
and the toilets and all that stuff. And now it sits like this, not necessarily rotting, but this is a wild experience. This is a really crazy experience for me. There's one bed right here. Have you noticed all the writings on the walls? Yeah, I mean, it's every single room. It's amazing. It's so surreal. Like, that's what I was saying. Is, I mean, every one of these cells is completely different. Different size, different layout. Yeah. I mean, it, this is this is really, really you cool. You can really see the history in here. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love it. It's yeah. awesome. By the way, guys, this is Urbex's dad. So go give him a follow. He's building his channel up, so he's going to have some banger videos come out. Awesome. Look at this. Oh, this is the bathroom. They had an enclosed bathroom in this one. Really? Yeah, see, this is... That's I'm, not something you see in a jail. Yeah, I've never heard of that in a, in a, in a prison. Mm -hmm. Which this isn't technically a prison, is it? It's more of a like, county jail. More of a like, county jail, yeah. But still, I mean, it, I've... It's not heard of, really. And no, then they got the heaters and the bubble style heaters. Just imagine sleeping on this. Like this bed? This is nothing. This is literally like plastic. This is just so surreal, guys. I'm, I'm blown away. We're gonna keep walking through it and we're gonna see what else we can find because every room seems to have something a little different about it. And then I like seeing like the different stories like written on the walls. Every one of them has some, something different like that. And it's really cool. Somebody had some posters in here. Just glue them to the walls. No, this is like all oh, this is like Playboy magazines. See, this one has beds that are like connected to each other like this. Holy crap. This one's full writing. See if I can read any. This is number one killer. Man, what if there's murderers in here? That's crazy. Look, these are old utensils. God walk with me. 11 22 1999 it was just a year before this place closed there's like stories written up here wow just running everywhere and like this is where you get your your food or stuff handed to you i wonder what would go up here not too sure this doorway is small Oh wow, just look at this. Like, these doors are tiny. I have to duck down to come in each one of these rooms. See, like most of the time, uh, when the rooms are the same, I don't like to show every single one. But with this type of place, each room has its own story. On the walls, you can just tell the different types of people that were in here. I mean, one said killer, so maybe there was a murderer. Obviously, this is just a county jail, but still, you know. Well, Do you notice how like these are shorter? Yeah, like, yeah. I have to this is more like a holding because look, they would have had to find benches spread here yeah. coming up from the floor. You would have had your telephone. They even had a TV. Oh, so this is a holding. Area. Yeah, yeah. So this is a holding cell. But there's showers in here. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's it's weird. It, it, you know. It almost makes you think that maybe they repurposed this holding cell because there's a larger holding cell over there. Really? And so possibly maybe this got turned into a cell because they were talking about they had to build a new jail because yeah. of the capacity issues. So maybe they were repurposing this thing. Hey, you know. Maybe. Well, you can't believe we got permission. I know. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. We don't have to good. whisper. We don't have to do any of that. Guys, be quiet. Oh, there's a washer in here. So this might have been like their laundry room of the, of the jail. And this, this looks like a dumb waiter. And it looks like, like a crank dumb waiter. That's cool. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like you would crank that to come up. Watch schedule. Sunday. We're going down to the fourth floor, which is the first floor of the actual prison. Um, we're not really going to film a lot of the stuff down here because it's all going to be really much a lot of the same and they told us not to film a lot of it because they have a lot of their storage in here. But we're still going to show you what we can and kind of walk through it. So it's still really cool. This is kind of less prison-like. It's actually a little bit more clean. Storage. storage. Yeah. 
Dude, my camera can't even pick this up right. It's so, so white in here. <laughs> like all this paint is like extremely white. But each one of these cells is pretty much locked except this one. They have all this stuff in it, so we're not going to show those. This is the same setup. Yeah, the exact same setup. It's the same setup. It's just cells are a little better sure. condition. All right, guys. So that's the end of today's video. We just explored this whole uh, abandoned jail. It was crazy. We had a lot of fun. We got permission, so but we were a lot less stressed out about it all. So, anyways, we're gonna get out of here. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button down below and go ahead and leave a like. And again, go give Black Lake Archives. And Urbex Dad a follow. Link is down in the description. And yeah, we're gonna get out of here. Big Banks out.